Hi folks, welcome to a new video. Um, today we've got something a little bit different for you. Um, not doing a, not going out and about today, or just popping out. Just going to do another something a little bit different. Uh, so, but you know what it is, because uh, I put it in the thumbnail, didn't I? So, yeah, in the picture. So, you're going to know what this uh, video is about, and it's going to be about I uh, bagged myself one of these big bad boys. Um, yeah, it's a DJI Mini 4 Pro. Um, I was going to get, I wasn't planning on to get one just at the moment, but uh, because I started this channel not, not, not so long ago, it's going to, it's going to be something I'm going to use quite on a regular basis. So I thought, let's get one now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was going to debate whether getting a DJI Mini 3 Pro, because um, it's a few hundred pound. It was a few hundred pound cheaper and it, it would have done it would have done what I needed to do like so I've got some like specs here the difference between the mini 3 and the mini 4 pro why I chose the mini 4 pro over the mini 3 there's a few reasons just before I get to the unboxing of it so um, yeah the difference uh, this does 4k 60 HDR whereas the uh, mini 3 pro would just do 4k 60 maximum resolution um, there's a 10 bit D log H M stroke HLG color mode as well which you don't get on the uh, the mini 3 um, it does slow motion for this does the mini 4 does 4k slow motion at 100 frames per second or you can do it at 1080p at 200, 200 frames per second whereas the mini 3 with the mini 3 pro will only do 1080p 100 frames per second so basically i've bought this just for just for future proofing really and uh, i didn't want to get didn't want to buy the mini 3 pro and like for several months down the line be thinking you know i should have got that mini 4 pro because uh, i probably would have thought that uh, so the cost currently um is because i was actually going to wait a few months and uh see if it were going to come down in price a bit because it still is selling at retail price at this date which is march the i think it's the 25th um or the 26th oh, i can't forget i'm useless with dates but yeah it was uh the, this package which is the uh fly more combo pack is uh it cost me 979 pound from argos that's where i bought it from it's exactly the same whether you buy it from Amazon or straight from DJI.com, it's for this package. It's uh, it's nine hundred and seventy nine. I could have gone with just the base pack. I don't think you get the extras with it. I think you still get obviously the uh, the remote, and that app comes at. Uh, 869 and you can get that from argos or dgi.com i didn't see any on um, amazon for some reason um, so if you want the, just the base pack and you don't want the extra batteries and everything you know that's that works out 110 pound cheaper and also there is an option to get the the dgi mini 4 pro but with the uh, n2 remote obviously with the n2 remote you need a smartphone as a separate screen on it so yeah i decided to go with this one because it's got it all in and also because i got it from argos because i also get this uh argos card where i can pay it not in one one lump sum which i could have done if i wanted to do but i didn't want it to uh, be a big big lump sum I could, it gives you the option to pay it over 12 months interest free and this card is really coming handy. I've bought loads of stuff here that, there that way, um, either it be garden sheds, TVs, and uh, like I said, I was going to wait for this. I, hopefully, I was say, hopefully I'm going to see a hundred pound drop in price, but uh, I don't. I didn't. I didn't know when it's come out. It's not long come out, so if you know what, what the date when it was actually released, uh, when it when it came out maybe it was a uh, late last year i don't know i didn't look at the release date on it but i know it's uh, the latest one but anyway that's the uh, prices and uh, the difference between the the main differences between the mini 3 pro and the mini 4 pro so let me just run off get a knife and i'll or scissors 
and then I'll uh, we'll see what's in the box, shall we? So I'm back again with some scissors. So let's have a look at the box on the outside, shall we? First, so on this side we've got um, that's the drone all packed up with its wing, uh, and then there's the remote. What you you'll get with the box as well. Uh, on this side, there's nothing but uh, just a DJI logo. Um, on the top, I think that sticker is just the Argos code. Uh, underneath, you'll get all like your serial numbers and that's kind of stuff. So I'll just I'll just cover the serial number up there. <laughs> that's that one there, and on the back, you get the drone in all its glory. There we go. So yeah, um, let's have a, take a look inside the box, shall we? See what we get. So try and uh, just cut it to the sides. The uh, seal. Ooh, watch my fingers. Should you make a little incision? It should just rip off. There we go. We've got it. So that's that's the seal. We'll just. Uh, out to one side we don't want that anymore go over there and we've got a little uh, sticker like another another seal so yeah i'll just uh, I'll carefully tear this not to damage the box tuck that in like that but uh in the box, you'll get a little QR code. That's for the um, the DJI Fly app. Uh, and, it, and as you open it, in the box we have, and that's what it looks like inside the box as you open it. So on the top we have, and it looks like it's all actually, uh, as I put it out, there's nothing else in the box and it's all looks like it's all packed up into the carry case which on its own be a nice little uh, over the shoulder bag if you want to just carry it like that but what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll still as I'm going about I'll still put it in this and also inside my backpack as well for extra protection unless I'm just going very close to, I don't have to go very far, I might just nip out with this. But uh, okay, let's let's undo this uh, this case. See what's gonna come out first. So what, let's have a look what we get with the, uh, the combo pack. So we've got a little zip at the top. So that's what it looks like in the bag as it packed up. And there's a little zip at the top. So we'll see what's in this little zip first. Aha, uh -huh. this looks like the wires. So you've got your manual and everything. There's a little QR code on the back there. I'm assuming that's for the same, uh, I think that's for the video editing app. So if you've got no video editing software, you don't, which I do, I'll probably go, any programs I record, I'll go through that. But uh, you've got like some kind of a app. So that's if you want to edit it all on your phone, I guess. And it uh, looks like we have the cables in this little bag. So, so we've got two cables, one would be, I'm assuming it would be a charging cable. So there's a few bits and bobs here. So we've got um, one USB-C to one USB-C cable. Uh, and another USB-C to a USB-3. I think it's a... Well, it's a USB A cable, but it looks like it's a, a free, could be free or 3.1, I don't know. You got um, one, two, three, four, five, six sets of, sets of propellers. There are propellers in that bag. I don't know whether the spares or I've got to put them on, I don't know. We'll soon find out when we get the uh, actual drone out, but there's uh, six, Six pairs of propellers. So there you go. Whether they're, hopefully they're spares. Um, 
and you also get uh, the little Torx. I think it's just a mini screwdriver as if when you want to put the uh, propeller blades on. And then this little side here we have, that's the drain, we'll leave that till last. So here we have, that's the, obviously the RC2 remote control. What I'm going to do, I might, oh it's okay, it's coming away quite easy. So I haven't got to cut it. So let's have a look at the remote control, see how it feels. So there's the remote control, as you can see, got the antennas here. There we go, there's the antennas. Um, I don't know where the, uh, the two joysticks are, obviously they're going to be probably in, in there somewhere. It's obviously you've got to have two little joysticks got to screw onto that. Ah, they're at the back. You see at the back, they're in there. So yeah. Yeah, feels pretty uh feels pretty good. Um that's the remote control, the RCT. Obviously if you buy the uh the cheap one, the cheaper six hundred pound version from DGI.com, uh obviously uh that's the NC Hang on, is it, is it the NC2? The N2 remote control, that's 689. That's the cheapest option you can get this DJI for. And currently you can't get that from Argos or Amazon. Maybe there's some other store what does sell it separate. Uh, but the only place you can get that one, that package one, which which, which would be just the, uh, the drone and that N2 remote control. And that's 689 which is only available at um, dgi.com direct. So yeah, that's a remote. We'll put that to one side. There we go. Put the US cables to one side. And what else we've got in the box? Oh yes, we have. We have a battery charger pack, and that's the hub for the charger. So you can you can charge up to three batteries at once. And we have two spare batteries. Now I've had a look online from DJI. You can't get these from many places. Uh, they weren't on Argos. Um, uh, you can get them. I think you can buy them on D dgi.com and they're currently 59 pound each each battery so any additional battery and uh the actual charging hub um is um i did write this down that's 39 pound from dgi.com so i don't know whether you can use the uh if you've already got one for the mini free if you're upgrading i'm not sure whether you can use the same I don't know, this is my first drone, so <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked into that, so maybe you want to look into that if, you, if you've got already got some batteries. But I'm thinking only these batteries are compatible. I don't think you can, I mean, I might be wrong, but uh, you might be able to, if you're upgrading from the Mini 3 to the Mini 4, you might be able to already use the batteries if you've got spare batteries. So it might might be wise just to get the cheaper pack without the extra battery pack but this is 39 pound that might be compatible with uh, you might be able to use an older hub i don't know but uh, just be aware of that so you've got two extra batteries and we've got the case obviously you could get with the case looked online um i think this comes with if you buy it from um dgi.com this comes as a free gift i think it's 35 pound if you wanted to buy it separate if it's available i haven't seen it i didn't see it on the uh, dgi.com website as uh but uh if you do buy any of the uh, dgi4 drones from dgi.com it does it does automatically come with as a free gift but uh i think if you buy Apart from this combo package, if you buy it from Amazon 
or Argos. That's this is the only this is the only uh, way you'll get this bag free. Otherwise, it's I think it said I did say thirty five pound on DGI.com. So there you go. If you want this bag, um, so all in all, the package as it comes is it's quite a good bargain for what you get. You know, if you're buying it separate, it's going to come to a lot more. But uh, now here we go. Is the piece de resistance? It's nicely sealed up. Look in the bag. But uh, this is the icing on the cake. So let's have a look at the drone, shall we? Peel this bag. I don't want to. I can use my scissors just to cut it open, but it's like a, a sticky seal. You can see it peels back quite easily. And uh, yeah, let's have a look, shall we? Here we go. Big drum roll, please. And there we go. So it's got some kind of plastic protection around it. So the uh, and obviously the it's got a protection for the gimbal as well. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's try and get this out and the wings open, shall we? Have a look. So it's like a little clip there. Is that right? Yeah, that's easy enough. Um, so yeah, it's got like a little clip. What all when your wings are folded away, they'll uh, protect it so it don't damage your wings. So we'll put that to one side. So let's uh, just fold this out. So that's that's actually upside down, isn't it? That's the right way. Is that the right way? I'll figure this out now. Yeah, it is. Because that's the, uh, yeah. I know, that's how it goes. Figure out how it comes out. Don't pull it. Oh, you're pulling it the wrong way. So there you go. That's that. That's, that's the right way. And then they fold out like that. Brilliant. So there we go. There's a the little fella. And uh, if I just take this little protection just pulls on there's a little clip underneath you just pull on that also if you're going to put this on and off i have read make sure it's all powered off and there's no no um so your gimbal is, is, isn't under power and you might damage your gimbal by it's like a little plastic uh protection seal over the uh gimbal so there you go there's the uh there's the gimbal itself in all its glory. So yeah, um, we've got like two sensors here. I know the sensors, uh, you've got better sensors on this than the Mini 3 Pro as well. That's another thing why, because it's my first, it's my first drone I've purchased uh, when it says it's got extra protection for the uh, collision with the sensors. That's another reason why I got it as well. I don't want to be crashing it. It's uh Yeah, there we go. So we've got a little take that little thing off there, another little sticker. But yeah, there we go guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna charge all the batteries, make sure they're all fully charged, update everything with the firmware, then I might just uh take it out in the back before it gets dark and have a little practice on it but yeah there we go guys hope you enjoyed the video next time i'll be taking some nice aerial shots for you don't know where i'm going to go yet but it's not going to be too long um going to be taking somewhere local might take the dogs out again so see you very see you very soon in the next one hope you enjoyed this hit that subscribe button leave us a like uh i do appreciate it and i'll see you very soon